Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I have a little something special. I don't know if you guys would be into this, uh, but I 100% am. So I'm gonna give you a little background on, first of all, what the hell I'm talking about. Um, but I wanna tell you guys a few things. Now, I don't know what your YouTube history is looking like. Uh, if it's looking at like strictly car stuff or strictly like race stuff or what, whatever the case is. Um, Lately, I've been watching a lot of Apex funny stuff, Apex Legends funny stuff, so I play video games like everybody else. Um, I watch a lot of car stuff, a lot of R32, 33, 34 stuff, a lot of racing stuff. I watch all of my friends' channels, um, and I think I, I, I don't know, well, I'm not going to say lately because my wife will be upset with me, but um, <laughs> for a while now, I've been like obsessed, obsessed with this uh I don't know, people doing work. Like, it's such a, a satisfying feeling watching somebody get something done or like made. And it, it's it's not me, I don't know, I don't know how to really explain it. It's like, I would wanna do stuff like that, but you can't because you don't have whatever is available that they are doing, if that makes any sense. But one of the things I've been looking at and watching lately is uh, stuff from Japan. Um, and when I say stuff from Japan, I mean like food, food wise. Now I know this isn't a food channel, it's like, you know, more of a cars and powder coating stuff. But uh, the stuff that I watch from Japan is almost like uh, hibachi stuff. And they specialize in uh, like, you know, like meats and stuff like that. Like Wagyu is exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, I don't know, I've been watching for, I don't if I had to guess, months and months. And uh, one day I, I said to myself, you know what, one day I got to try this this crazy delicate meat that everybody, you know, like I see all over the internet. And obviously it's not something that we get here because it's actually called Japanese Wagyu. And uh, I said to myself, you know what, one day I'm actually going to like buy it. And uh, today is that day. So I actually purchased it a couple days ago and it finally came today. And that's what's in this box here. Now, I'm going to do an unboxing. Now, I know it's probably not going to be exciting, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. So, let's do this. Let's get this shit off. Now, obviously, this is like fresh stuff right from Japan. And uh, so, it came in a perishable box. And, uh, holy shit, look at that. That's what it is. Woo! So, that's pretty awesome. All right. Now, I know most of you guys don't really know about meat because like, I mean, obviously I don't either. I'm not really a meat connoisseur, but I know good meat. Uh, I know like exactly what I'm looking for. Now this is uh, center cut sirloin. A5 is the best rating that you can get for Japanese Wagyu. Now this is super exciting. Now, I don't know how this shit comes out. Give me a minute here. All right, I kind of had to muscle that out of the uh, the box there. It's a uh, shipping container. I guess it's got packed full of like, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, dry ice or whatever to try to keep it uh, cold because obviously it's getting shipped from another country, which is crazy. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, already, like I'm... Oh my goodness. All right. Is that it? Everything just dry ice in here. It's kind of pretty awesome. I'm not even going to lie. So, I don't really know exactly what it is that I'm looking for, but I can tell you this right off the bat. If you go into your local market, you're going to look for fat and striations. I think that's what it's called, striations. And uh, the fat content inside of Wagyu is almost like butter. That's that's what every place that I've ever read is kind of uh, that's what they kind of tell me. So how this how this oh my god look just look at it. Now how this it works is uh, it, it's like I guess the cows in Japan or something like that are fed like sake and massaged every day so that. 
uh, the muscle content is, uh, well, the fat content is a lot more and the muscle content is a lot, lot higher. So I guess like all of this fat here is just to do with them like massaging a cow. I don't know if that's really accurate, but <laughs> it is just pretty funny just to actually like hear and see because like it's, it's kind of one of those things. It's like, you don't really think about it too much, but it's, it's one of the, it's, I'm kind of excited. I don't know if you can hear the excitement in my my uh, in my voice here, but uh, I don't know. I kind of wanted to share this with you guys because I've never actually had any of this. And I know you can't just go to your store and you can't buy it. Like, you know, you have to have this flown in. And it, it's like I said before, it's imported. It's imported meat. So you can only imagine like what this shit costs, but I guarantee you it's probably gonna be the best piece of steak you've ever had in your freaking life. So I can't wait to actually uh, cut this up, make some uh, make some steaks out of it, and uh, enjoy it. But uh, I don't know if um, I don't know if I'm gonna make a video of me like cooking this up or anything like that. But I don't know. I wanted to share my excitement because this is a super exciting time for me. Uh, something I've always wanted to do, and the only way I could really get it is to either go to Japan and get it fresh or uh go to like australia because australia has it too but uh yeah i don't know <laughs> I i'm sure it was like a weird video but i had to kind of make it because i was so excited but uh i don't know if you like this video like comment subscribe and uh i don't know i'll see you on the next one all right do it